I'm Dave Wise, Director of Physical Infrastructure Issues for GAO. We've designated the management of federal real property as a high-risk area due to excess property, over-reliance on leasing, and the challenges of protecting government assets from terrorism. Federal agencies list more than 45,000 buildings as excess and or underutilized, costing billions of dollars annually to operate. For example, this building, the annex of the old post office pavilion in downtown Washington, D.C., has been abandoned for years. The government could avoid the cost to operate, maintain, and secure buildings like this, and even earn money through sales by disposing of unneeded properties. However, several factors impede the government's ability to quickly dispose of such property. Numerous stakeholders with an interest in how the federal government carries out its real property practices can build barriers to disposal, including local government, business, and the general public. Various factors also complicate real property decision making. These include legal issues, environmental contamination and cleanup concerns, and requirements that the government offer excess properties to other federal agencies, homelessness assistance groups, and local governments and nonprofits for schools, hospitals, and other local services before operating the properties for sale. There are no easy solutions to these challenges. We have recommended that the government develop a unified strategy to address these issues. The administration has proposed a new strategy for identifying unneeded federal sites for closure fashioned after the military's Base Realignment and Closure Commission.